Yeah, a little early for oh. me on this. You know. Well, that's you. It's the old Mexican. Um, it's, it is, oh yeah, the Old Town Mexican old Cafe. Old Town Mexican Cafe. And you know what? That looks beautiful. Mm. We are going to show you the recipe. If you're having a party, you want to know how to make the perfect margarita, we're going to tell you exactly how to do it coming up. Oh, boy. All right. But first of all, we're going to talk about some important news here. And county leaders are asking really good margaritas. And Tequila 101, a little education here. Andy Anderson from Old Town Mexican Cafe and Rodrigo, who's going to be the master chef of our margarita. They join us from the Old Town Mexican Cafe. Good morning. Good morning. How are morning. you? Good, I've good, had so you. much fun talking to you guys about the history <laughs> of tequila because so many people don't know that much about it. But we were just talking. It's now become not something you throw back with a lime and salt, but something you really savor. Isn't that true? More like a, almost like a fine cognac. Really? Um, and it's almost the same price as a fine cognac also. Yeah. The, uh, and, and, and the interesting thing is about the bottles. And Rodrigo, you and I were talking about this. Um, you brought in some examples of the right, way right. tequila is packed nowadays the bottles are artistic yeah they're, they're coming with a really good really good looking bottles I mean I mean look at this one right here we just got this one it's like pottery like you would yeah. have as art in your house that is gorgeous and the tequila is really good too. is it good what kind yeah. of tequila is that this is the reposado oh reposado yeah. yeah. Andy tell me about uh, this we were discussing what this one is right here as we take a shot of this what exactly is that that is, that is actually the fruit of the agave plant Mm -hmm. um, which they roast to make the tequila, and they get up to 150 pounds, the size wow. of. Uh, but and they uh, take from four to eight years to mature. Uh -huh. So and it's all again up to the tequila maker to when they want to pick the, uh, the the cactus. Right, right. So it's uh, a lot, a lot of the difference in the the, the flavors, uh, how good a tequila is, all depends on the guy who's making the tequila, just, just like wine. Just like wine, just yeah. like a good wine maker. Absolutely. So the packaging has become so important, the product so important. Let me ask you this, I always wondered when I order a margarita in a restaurant, is it important whether I get the high grade mar um, tequila or does it matter what you put in your margarita? You know, it only matters for, <laughs> for your own purpose, I guess. Really? So it doesn't um, really matter? Not really. Um, you know, I wouldn't, in fact, I wouldn't take a good tequila and, and make a margarita out of it. It would be much better served just sipping it. Yeah. Or, or my favorite, what I call the tequini, uh -huh. um, a tequila martini where you just put a little bit of, use your good tequila, just a little bit of Grand Marnier, a squeeze of lime, chill Yummy. it, chill it, strain it. Ooh, it's so good that Let's way. Let's get to it then. You're going to make us a couple sure, margaritas, yeah, right? Sure. For those of you who want the perfect margarita recipe, this is going to be, you should write notes because these guys can make them at the Old Town Mexican Cafe. So what are we going to start with? We're going to make the one on the rocks first. Okay. Now, do you feel insulted when people have blended instead of on the rocks? You go ahead and make and... and yeah, it's all personal and preference. Stuff. Really? Because sometimes people feel like that's watering it down oh, and you can't no, no, feel no, the no, flavor. No, 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 no. That's why we, that's why we have so many different types, so many different flavors. See, um, now you use Patron. Patron's a great no, tequila. It's a great tequila. And it's Absolutely. a little bit expensive. Yeah. So. You're not talking about using, you know, well, sort of well, rot gut kind of tequila. No. In fact, in fact, when we would, we'd have none of that in our restaurant at all. Oh, you're right. Um, of course you would. Yeah. So Patron and then a little bit of... A little, little bit of Grand okay. Marnier. Sweet and sour. And just a splash of sweet and sour. And what would, what is this um, tequila, I mean, what is this margarita called? I guess we would call this the, uh, the perfect margarita. Okay, perfect, or the, yes. Okay, perfect margarita. But is that like a top shelf? Yeah. Or, okay. Yep. Definitely going to be your higher oh, grade. Just that sound. Just that sound. <laughs> Is anybody allowed to do a taste test? I'm, I'm not, so we'll figure out. Maybe one of the crew hate, can do one. We hate to see yeah. it go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to go to waste around here. Are you kidding? Okay, so you throw that over some rocks. So that's all. You just put some sweet and sour Grand Marnier and some good tequila. Yep. Right. And you just pour that in there. Oh, my gosh, that looks so good. Yeah. Uh, but another, Is that wrong of me to think that looks that good at quarter to nine in the morning? Another trick that I do at home is I chill my tequilas and... That way, when you pour them over the rocks, it doesn't melt the ice and it doesn't get watered down. Oh, so if you can, at home, keep your stuff, all your stuff cold. Okay, all right. Really works well. What do, uh, is this the one that we're, which, what are we going to do in this one? That's going to be the tequini. Okay, tequini. Okay. And that's the one that you like. That's, that's the, the one, one I that like. Keep it pretty pure. Yep. It's mostly tequila. Okay. I'm going to just a little, little dab of Grand Marnier. Okay. And instead of sweet and sour, we'll just squeeze a couple of limes in there. Okay, so we keep, keep that one pretty simple. So you're almost making it like a... Like a real martini. Yep. You got the yeah, shaker. Instead of, instead of vermouth, you get a little Grand Marnier. Mm -hmm. Instead of an olive, you get a squeeze of lime. And this one would be one that you would use to your good tequila. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, All right, so because gonna... you're getting the full flavor. It's not not being hidden by the sweet and sour. And you're sitting there and you're sipping it. Absolutely. And that's, yeah. Has there ever been a better time for the tequila business than now? No, no. There's so many different kinds, so many different flavors, so many different. Uh, they just came out with a new pomegranate liqueur that we're selling. A pomegranate margarita, a pomerita. Oh 
Is that what this is right here? Yep. Look at this. Wow. And it that is. That is very cool. Really good. Liqueur. We've got to try that one. And of course, the Chambord is so good. Too. Chambord, the uh, raspberry flavored liqueur, the Midori, the melon flavored. So really, wow. that's that's what I was saying. With with margaritas, everybody has a different. Everybody has something different they like. Right, and, and just do it. Whatever yeah. sounds good and feels good and tastes good. Oh, so you put a little of the pomegranate liqueur in there. I love it. Yeah, we can, like I said, it's just kind of personal personal preference. Oh, um, I love it. Okay. What you do is, you know, come in, come into the Old Town Mexican Cafe, talk to the bartenders. Our staff is so knowledgeable. Okay. They can lead you around and find exactly what you like. Hey, you know, do you like flavor, this flavor, that flavor? Come in and give them a try. And they're fun. I yeah, mean, you get guys fun. like yep. you guys. I mean, honestly, you guys know more about tequila than anybody, so you ask a lot of questions and have fun. Let's put the information up, and while we finish up our last margarita, um, put the information up and let everybody know where to find you and where to go and all that good stuff. Old Town Mexican Cafe. Yep. And, oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I'm not going to put it up. See, that looks good. Oh, there it is. Old Town Mexican and Cafe and the phone number and the blended one. You'll hear that noise all night long at the restaurant. It's music, it's music to people's ears. You know, you go there for happy hour, you yep. throw on the blender. All right, you guys, thank you so much for your time this morning. And thank good you to very see much. you, Thank you so Stop much. In and see us. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Okay, moving on. Now that you are unwinding with a little cocktail, it's time for some hot entertainment news. We'll tell you what the rumor is about Howard Stern.